guess when you head south, you tend to find possible tornadoes. We're in a tornado watch in Texas right now. Our limo driver is a posse driver. I have never been a part of a posse before. I mean, Sir Mix a lot, I listen to a lot of that, you know, his posse's on Broadway, but this. So we're having dinner with Roberto Duran. I don't know what you're doing tonight, but. Uh... I think I'm standing in the middle of a driving range. Is that weird? So rough roads through Oklahoma. Yeah, I mean, it's and, uh, surprisingly and enough, the couch was moved, but that was really Is that really why it. this is out on the floor? Yes, the couch moved, huh. and then the nightlight came unplugged from the wall and was on the floor, huh. which is odd. And then there appears to be an almond <laughs> incident. Yes. So I don't know. There's some plastic on there, too. Yeah. Oh. Is it pushing out? Oh, and that's all it. Oh, the hey! The whole package. Wow. Oh, wow. Well. Wow. Every what? shelf. The yeah. almonds everywhere. The whole bag of almonds open up. And that's pretty amazing. That's a good thing I'm going to clean today, huh? All right, so we're at the... I can't see you. We're at the big Texan RV oh, ranch in Amarillo, Texas, on the outskirts of Amarillo. Uh, and this is affiliated with the big yeah. Texan Steakhouse, which is supposed to be world famous. Okay. They have a... 72 ounce steak if you eat it in less than an hour you get it for free we're not going to attempt that because i will get so badly ill we won't be traveling for two days we are going to do the big texan free limousine ride from the trailer or the rv park i always call it a trailer park i just can't get past that it's been years i still call it a trailer park anyway he really wanted to ride in a limousine he's this is your first limousine ride mm -hmm. it's mine too is it really why would I, i'm from maine why would i need a limousine <laughs> he asked me, he goes, have you ever been a limousine? I said, yes. He goes, when? I said, two funerals. So I guess it's a lot different. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't been to any funerals either, so. But these limousines have big old longhorn steer horns on the front. I mean, it's Texas. And then we're going to take the, the free limo over and then have a steak dinner and check out this Route 66 style place. And yeah. I'll show you and tell you all about it. It's exciting. What color do you think we're going to get for the limo? Blue, white, or black? Comment down below. Let us know. Okay, we're a posse. Our limo driver is a posse driver. I have never been a part of a posse before. I mean, Sir Mix a lot. I listen to a lot of that, you know, his posse's on Broadway. But this, I'm really excited. Corbin, are you excited? Yes, I am. Susanna, she's so excited she can't stop texting. Well, I'm talking to our daughter. That is important. She doesn't have any food in the fridge. Grandma and Grandpa <laughs> went to go to the fair and they're gone for 10 days and she ran out of food. <laughs> oh, sounds like so ramen. <laughs> so while we're waiting for our limousine ride, I have some facts for Susanna it's while she's squinting. Okay, so Susanna, the Big Texas RV or Big Texas Steakhouse was opened in 1960. And to kind of get things going, they decided to have a steak eating competition. Uh -huh. The winner ate four and a half pounds of steak. 
So that's where they set the 72 ounce thing. So the, that's a lot of steak. Yeah. The guy, the owner, Arlie, I can't remember. Anyway, he said, look, anybody that can come here and eat 72 ounces of steak gets it for free. Wow. So that kind of became like the big thing, right? In 1963, a I think he's a professional wrestler. He came in and he ate two of them. And that sent the bench benchmark for like the next uh, 50 years. In 2016, a housewife, I can't remember her name, she weighs weighed 128 pounds. It she was came, like, she her came, name was like Molly or something. I can't remember her name. We'll put it up here for you. She came in and in 20 minutes, she ate three 72 ounce steaks. That that's is now the new record. Steak. That is a lot of steak. That's like, that's like. Do the math. Three. What, seven times three? Seven. I, I, I did the math earlier when I was in the pool. It was like 200. It was 206 ounces of steak. Or 216 ounces of steak. 216 ounces of steak. It's in 20 much. minutes. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine the meat sweats after that? Oof. It's like from Man. the great outdoors. That's the old 96er. She did, she would demolished it. So anyway, those are some, some fun facts. And uh, I hope our ride gets here because it's 90 degrees outside. It is hot. There it is. There's your chariot. All right, climb in. Step there on the, oh, appreciate you, babe. <laughs> Normally in limousines, you have seats going this way and this way, and this is open in the yeah, center. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is more for like carrying multiple people. So the first person ate the 72 ounce steak in four minutes, 18 seconds. What are you waiting for? She did three steaks in 20 minutes. We're supposed to go in there? Wait, you're going to see this. Show me your boot. That's a root boot. So back behind us, over there, on the platform, that's the table. So if you're gonna do the 72 ounce challenge, that's where they put you. And like, here's us with our, we have a little GoPro camera. These guys have a whole film, we don't know what they're filming for. They even have the little card thing where they went action. Okay, so we did a little bit more research. You can't see because there's the ladies are surrounded back over here, but uh, the people over the table, the, the main guy is Roberto Duran, the famous boxer. Uh, he's like 70 now. But, so we're having dinner with Roberto Duran. I don't know what you're doing tonight, but... Uh, <laughs> is it already cut? Yeah, it's too... Yep. Do you want the um, hot pepper? <laughs> no. Dude, your food came in a hat. I know, I knew it came with a hat, but I didn't know what came I didn't know what came, came in, in a hat. hat. getting soft ground. I wouldn't go much further. Tandy's sinking. I guess when you head south, you tend to find possible tornadoes. We're on a tornado watch in Texas right now. Um, it's supposed to go on for a couple of more hours. 
the rain and thunder has started very, very heavily. Um, we kind of got things ready to go in case things start shaking. We're gonna go out to the trail or out to the truck. Hi. You got your pillow. I do. If I lay down with him on his bed and he falls asleep in his bed, then maybe he'll fall asleep. Maybe. maybe. Okay. Or when it's over, I can come back with my <laughs> okay. pillow and stuff. <laughs> Excuse the hair, I woke up. We were up till about uh, 12, 31 o'clock last night. The storm actually died out a lot faster than we thought it was going to, which is great. Um, we got a lot of rain, a lot of acorns and stuff hitting the top of the, the trailer, but that was it. So I'll have to get up there and sweep some stuff off later on, but, and then we gotta bring the slide, slide outs in because of the toppers kind of bowed with a little bit of water. But other than that, we did really, really well. I guess last night, they were expecting like tons of tornadoes across Missouri, Oklahoma, Texas, and I think Susanna said that they, as of now they reported 14, and you know hopefully nobody got hurt, um, but 14 is a lot better than dozens and dozens. So, and now today is beautiful. Look at that; it's just like not a cloud in the sky, and it's only supposed to be 80 degrees today. So today is a good day to go ride bikes, and. Maybe take the runt to the pool, but the pools are probably full of leaves. <laughs> There's a lot of leaves. So we got lucky again. And uh, yeah, thankfully no damage. All right, so the Lake Tawakoni Thousand Trails is absolutely huge, like gigantic. Um, there's room in this field alone for like 100 more RVers. But it also is a good place for me to go practice with my drone so I had a Mavic Air and it was great and then I let my stepdad try it out I was watching over his shoulders um, well we had a little incident so Tom that was my old one uh, broke an arm <laughs> broke some other pieces and I needed a drone because we were leaving in a few days so he actually bought Tom for me and I went and bought a Mavic Air 2 and Corbin named him Indiana Drones. So his name is Indiana Drones, that's kind of cool. Um, I've only flown it once. It's amazing, but I need to practice, uh, you know, like having the drone follow you, have it circle you, uh, and just practice flying around, which is really important when you have a drone. But uh, if you're looking for a drone, the Mavic Air 2 is pretty sweet. I think by now that probably the Mavic Air 3 is coming out. Um, but anyway, really important you go out and practice. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I think I'm standing in the middle of a driving range. Is that weird? I, okay. Anyway, so I'm going to try to find a spot. You're going to scout out a spot for me? Okay. Yep. Really short grass. There's a nice spot. I should have just walked around the road instead of walking across the field. Right now we're working on active tracking. Corbin, hop on your bike. Let's see if it will go right down the road. Yeah, we got some good practice in. Kind of understood the point of point of interest. And then you've got the tracking where you can do tracing, which is kind of creepy. It follows you. So chase me, chase Corbin. Then you can parallel somebody. So I let Corbin ride through the field and paralleled him. Uh, so we're getting a little bit more familiar with it. Much more responsive and faster than the other one. 
Ooh, it might actually be Corbin home. I sent him the, the long way on his bike. What? That's good timing. Watch out for that puddle. Oh, you got mud on your butt. Thank you for watching. We'd love to share our journey with you. So hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. And don't forget to leave your comments down below and hit the like button.